<clears throat> okay, let's say we want to pull table from or pull data from multiple tables in MySQL. Now we kind of saw in a previous video how we can sort of do that using subqueries, but there are some limitations to subqueries. And in that video, I said frequently there are better options. Not always, but frequently there are better options, and one of those is joining data. So let's take a look at our ER diagram, and let's say I wanted to pull this information. Let's say I wanted to know the uh, name of the country, its capital city, the name of that capital city, what district it's in, and what its population is. So I'm trying to pull data from multiple different tables here, right? I need the country name, I need the city name, I need the district name, I need the population name. Two of these things, or three of these things, are in the city table. One of them is in the country table. And then I need to find where I can join that data together. And so that's going to be here, where my city ID needs to equal my capital ID. And this, if you remember that previous video on using subqueries, we used this information. So that's how I'm going to do this. So let's talk about how we're going to make this work. So I'm going to use, I'm going to get in the right window first, use world, because this is the first time I've done it in this session. And I'm going to select, now this is going to be interesting because I want the name of the country and the name of the city. And if we will look at your ER diagram, notice it's name and name. So I need to specify which one I'm actually using. So I'm going to use the full name of the field, which is going to be, oops, I want this one to be city dot name. So name the table dot the name of the column or the field. And this one's going to be country. So I need the country dot name and the city dot name. Now the other things that I want, so my district and my population, these are going to be, um, these are only in the city, well, the district is only in the city. But if I look at population, do I see a population here? I do. So I have a population in both. So again, I'm going to have to define which population I want, the city or the country. So we're going to have city name. I want the district. And this one I don't have to get the full name for because there's only the one. And then the city dot population. So those are the things that I want from. And then I'm going to need to specify both tables that I want. So it's going to be from country and city. So the country table and the city table. Now I need to identify how those are going to be connected. And there are a couple of different ways to do this. But we're going to start by demoing this in the where clause. So here's what I want. I want where. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put my uh, country dot capital equals city dot ID. And we'll come back over here to our ER diagram so you can see what we're doing. It's the country dot capital right here has to match the city dot ID, which is going to be the ID of the city. So this should pull it for every country in my database. So let's see if it works. OK, here we go. We have the name of the country, the name of the capital, the district that it's in, if relevant, and the population. So we need to do a little bit of clarification here because we have name, name, district, population. So we're going to change this to capital district. We're going to change the city dot population to a capital population. But these ones right here, country dot name, I want as country, ry, and city dot name as city, and then execute. OK, and now that looks a little bit better. Now, I can also begin, so I did these, uh, the where is what created that little join for me. So it joined everything together. I can go ahead and add more things into the where clause. And because I have now in this, so this is what's going to tie my two tables together, I can use my where clause to filter based on anything in either of these two tables. So I want to do this for, um, let's look at the region of West Africa. So I'm going to say where country dot, 
uh, capital equals city dot ID and region equals West Africa. Now I don't have to specify which table my region is coming out of because there's only one region and it's right here. So SQL is going to know that's this is the one that we're talking about. The only time we have to specify the full name, the table name dot column or field name is when we have things that have the same name like name, name, population, population. So let's execute this again. And hey, we didn't find anything for that. So let's real quick, I'm going to see if I can find what my issue is. So I'm just going to include right here my region and execute. And I'm going to find Western Africa. I did West Africa. That was the problem. And region equals Western Africa. And now let's execute. And there we go. And I can kill my region off of here if I don't want to see it. And there is our final query. So we have the country, the city. I'm going to change this to capital. That's going to be better. So the country, the capital, the district, and the population of that capital. Okay, so that was a quick example of how we can tie a couple of tables together. Let's take a look at another one. I'm going to create a new thing here and back to my ER diagram. And what I want to do is I want to look at every country and we'll filter it down by region a little bit later on. But I want to look at every country that has, oh, let's choose. Actually, you know what? Let's not filter. Let's just look at the cap or the country and the official language. And then we'll filter it down to Southeast Asia or something like that. So here's what I want to do. I've always done the already done the use world. So I'm going to select name. And if we look at this, I want the name of the country. And so if I'm tying these two together, they're going to connect based on code and country code. So that's going to be our relationship. So I want the name from the country. And I don't have to specify which uh table that's coming out of because I don't have over here anything named name. So I'm going to select name and then I want the language and we're going to pull that from here. And I'm going to do this from, there we go, from country and country language where, and this is where I'm going to do my join again, so in parentheses, it's country.code equals country language dot, and if we look at our EI diagram, we're going to see it's going to be country code is going to relate to code over here. So country language dot country code and is official equals true. Okay, let's see if it works. And we have an error, so I'm gonna come down and look at my error. Unknown column is official. Let me see if I can spell official correctly. And now let's execute the query. And we still have an error. Where, so it doesn't like my is official equals true. So let's, I'm going to pull this in a minute. Let me just open up another query. And so I'm going to select asterisk from country language. And we're just going to look in G-U-A-G-E. -E, and we're going to see what that looks like. So is official, oops, wrong one. And let's execute the query. There we go. Okay, one of my capital T there because it's a Boolean field, it didn't like my lowercase t because of that. 
Okay, so here we have the name and the language. Now, again, I want to rename this. Select name as country. Select language as official. Let's do an underscore language. And there we go. Now we're pulling data from the two separate tables, right? We're pulling data from, we're pulling this value from here, this value from here, and we're filtering on this value from here. Let's go ahead and do this for Southeast Asia. And knowing my luck, I'm going to type it incorrectly, but we're going to go for it anyway. And region equals Southeast Asia. And we'll see if I got that correct. Hey, what do you know we did? Okay, so here we go. All of our countries in Southeast Asia with their official language. And then I can go ahead and use the other things that we've used before. So I went to order by name. And that'll sort us by our name there. So the order by, and then with the joins, we can go ahead and do grouping and things like that as well. But this video hopefully gave you an idea of how we can join two tables together using just that where clause. Uh, and by putting that equals in parentheses, it knows that that's how it should connect the two tables together. So using this, hopefully now you can join tables together and pull information you want from multiple different tables.